I realized that I liked all the map and filter stuff was, that was in Ruby. I was like, oh, wow, where does all this come from? And someone said, oh, that's functional programming. OK, cool. How do I learn functional programming? And Google that came to Haskell and just sort of blew my mind. Did that for half a year and didn't successfully write one program. Um, but it was really fun. And then someone showed me Elixir. And I was like, oh, wow, I can actually write stuff in this. Um, and now I'm looping back around to Haskell again. And so yeah, short attention span, doing lots of things. Um, so prior to writing Elixir, the, the languages that I was competent with were sort of dynamic scripting languages like uh, Ruby and JavaScript and Python and oh, even a bit of VBA. Um, and when you come to Elixir, you now have like the problems that the problems that people are tackling Elixir are so far beyond the problems that people people are trying to tackle in Ruby and Python. So in the Ruby world, we're we're saying, oh, how can we do concurrency? Oh, this is tricky. Maybe in a few years we'll have like some good mechanisms for doing this. But in in the Elixir world, because of the early heritage, concurrency is done. That's ages ago, and then so is parallelism, and it's onto questions like, okay, how does dis how does uh, distributed computing work? And it's amazing because now now that I uh, have these concepts and I have these tools. Um, I can uh, I can decide how I would build something that before I couldn't even possibly imagine how I would do. Like I had no idea how I do a parallel program, how I would do a program that parallels processes something in parallel. But now it makes sense to me, and that's that's really cool. It's like a whole new way of solving problems has been opened up to me.